to the kitchen. Today we're going to do pasta carbonara, a dish that my dear Italian mother taught me. And we're going to start with plain old spaghetti, right out of the box into boiling salted water. Uh, we'll talk about pasta on another episode and all the different variations that we might use, but today we're going to stay with just plain old spaghetti. This is a wonderful dish for a late night supper. It's great for a hairy day after the office. Wonderful to teach the kids how to cook, and uh, it's great for entertaining. Love to do that when we're entertaining some of our friends. So we've got the pasta going, and into a big serving bowl, I'm going to put in um, one egg beaten for each serving that we've done uh, to serve today into the bottom of our serving bowl. This will eventually be um, part of our sauce. Our sauce will be done in two components. We've got our egg component, and then we're going to go into our pan, medium, uh, heavy skillet. It's got uh, some heat going on it. And we're going to put in some pancetta. As I mentioned earlier, this is bacon and egg spaghetti. It is uh, a real comfort food. And my mom taught me with just plain old regular bacon out of the supermarket. That bacon, of course, has got some flavor components that you may or may not want to involve into spaghetti carbonara. I happen to love it that way, but today I'm going to use pancetta, Italian bacon. And a pancetta is um, not as smoky in flavor. It's got uh, uh, cured by salt on the outside, an important flavor component in just a moment. And so I chunked that uh, bacon up, and again, we talked a little bit about how the tooth of the meal is going to feel. This bacon chunked like this is an important component to that. So I'm going to add some of that to the pan, and you can see it sizzling, you feel it sizzling pretty well there in the bottom of the pan. And we'll get that going. I'd like to have the bacon get done, sweat it out, and I want a little color on it. I'd like to even have a crisp edge on a couple of those cubes if I can. From there, we're going to add the onion. A plain white onion on this one. And you know that the kitchen is going to be smelling great by this time because you've got bacon and onions in the pan. I let the onions in essence sweat, get tender just a little bit before I go to the garlic. Let the entire thing cook, get well done, and then we're going to add some olive oil in there. I like to go around the edge of the pan with an extra virgin olive oil. That way it won't get too greasy on some of the meat and vegetables that are in there. You can see this is all coming together pretty quickly. We've got pasta done, we've got the eggs done, and we've got our second component of the sauce done. I mentioned earlier that this is a salt-cured pork product, so you're not going to want to add any salt to it. I like a little coarse ground black pepper in there. And like I mentioned, it's smelling very good in here um, already. Now, just before I drain my pasta, we're going to put everything together. I'm going to add a little parsley. I like a coarse chopped Italian flat leaf parsley, kind of going with the theme, you notice the Italian theme going on here, and incorporate it, that into the dish. We're going to drain our pasta. The hot pasta is going to go into our egg mixture. When the hot pasta is done, some people like to put olive oil on it. I don't like to do that at this point because the pasta's pores, in essence, are most open and it's most receptive at that moment for the sauce that we're going to apply to it. So we're going to drain the pasta, put it into the egg mixture, coat that pasta, and in essence, cook the eggs right there. Then we're going to dress it with our, the rest of our sauce here. Toss with a little grated Parmesan cheese. I like the grated Parmesan cheese at this point because it melds better, and then I like the shredded for decoration, garnish, presentation. We're going to take our hot pasta straight into the egg. 
and toss quickly. We're in essence cooking the egg. The pasta is most receptive to flavor right now. I like to add a little unsalted butter to this right at the end before I put it all together and this helps make it silky and bind it all together. And this is the second component into the plate that we're serving with. And again, toss rapidly and the sauce will turn into pasta carbonara. Add some flat leaf parsley, nicely chopped. Some coarse ground black pepper. We're going to toss again in preparation for serving. Finish the garnish with some parsley. I like some shredded Parmesan cheese here. And a little garnish and it's ready for the table. Pasta carbonara. Remember, it's not glass to glass, but soul to soul. Yes.